What's up, guys? I do have something very serious to talk about. So give me just one moment here. What up, guys? All right, what up, Sam? What up, everybody watching? What up, Jacob? So, I got a little something for you guys. And there's a certain little bitch that needs to be called out on some shit. But first... I have some news for you guys. And this is if you guys don't know. That man, Alexander, who has been calling me out and how he really is. So as you guys know, he, you know, apologized to me. Which I was fine with. But then, his little weak ass goes behind my back and tells all his little fucking friends, or his little army as I like to say, or as he likes to say as well, that maybe constructive, destructive criticism would be better than destructive, destructive criticism would be better than constructive criticism, just for the fact that he doesn't like my shit. He knew... His little friends would attack me. He knew what they were doing. He egged them on. And if you guys don't know, this man, he not only attacked my music, he attacked every single one of you guys. He attacked my friends. He attacked my family. And he didn't give two fucks about who it was. So to you, Alexander, I want you to know I have proof of this shit from several friends of mine. And don't think you're getting away with this two this two faced bullshit, cause it ain't gonna work with me, pal. That shit don't follow me, you fucking Norwegian asshole. And yes, I have every right to call you a Norwegian fucking asshole because I do have Norwegian in my blood. And honestly, you're a disgrace to our Norwegian ancestors. Those that came before you, they're probably sitting up in the heavens right now embarrassed by you. I know I would be. See, and that's the thing, dude. You don't fucking think before you act. You don't think about the... Oh, my bad. You don't think about the damn consequences before you put them into motion. You 
really need to watch your ass on that, boy. Because what you did not only, you know, mentally hurt me and my friends and my family, but it hurt a lot of people around me. People that you don't even know. So to you and your little army that wants to try to shut me down and try to tear me down, go ahead and get your little army, boy. No, to be honest, dude, I'll sit right here and fucking tell you straight up. You want to get your little army of friends and bash on people and belittle people behind my back? And bash on me behind my back? I say to you this, Alexander. Bring it, bitch. I fear no one. I don't fear you, and I don't fear your little army of friends that you're controlling. I fear no one. Especially not a punk-ass Norwegian little fucking two-faced backstabbing idiot like you. You're weak. I got the balls to stand here on this stage in my room every fucking night and perform for every one of these people who actually enjoy my music. Well, what do you do? You sit there behind your motherfucking keyboard and talk shit. Yeah, you may apologize, but I know you're a little game, dude. You sit right there behind my back and tell people to go ahead and keep attacking me. And for what reason? It does you no good. None. As I said, go ahead and get your friends. Let them come. Let them attack me. Because let me tell you something, dude. I fear no one. I have no fear when it comes to people like you. I will fucking shut your ass down in a heartbeat. Yeah, you might have your little group of friends that you call your army. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I've got my own army. And I guarantee you, they don't play nice. I guarantee you, you will be destroyed. Because let's put it this way. You sit there and say that you're sorry because I'm special needs? Dude, you're just making it a hundred times worse by what you're doing. Oh yeah, it was all sort of page, but like I said, I don't think you really know what's going on. Behind my back, and I've heard this from a couple of friends who actually seen what was going on. What he did is, even after he apologized, he sat there in the comments, on his timeline, on his page, and told people to go ahead and give me destructive criticism, because obviously constructive criticism don't work. Which I've still been getting attacked for. So to you, Alexander, which I know you're watching, you little bitch, I say to you this. Go ahead and bring it. Because I fear no one. I don't fear you or your little friends. I don't think I'm not going to expose you for who you really are, motherfucker. I have no fear when it comes to your ass. I know your game and I know how you really are. And don't think I know. And don't play that nicey nice card, boy. I'm seeing right through it. And I'm seeing who you really are. So don't think that you're going to fool anybody. Because you ain't fooling me and you sure as fuck ain't fooling these people here. I got a couple friends. See what the fuck you do behind my back. I know what you're doing. I know your little game. And you know what? I ain't playing it, boy. Your ass is done for. You're finished, Alexander. You are a worthless piece of human flesh. You are a nobody. 
compared to me, you are a fucking little pinprick in the fucking ground. Whereas for me, I'm making a name for myself, boy. Look the name up. You'll find me on Google. Actually, no, it was not, dude. No, it was not. I saw proof of what you did after you apologized. You knew damn good and well that those people attacked me. You knew, man. And don't act like you didn't know, because you did. I'm exposing you for what you really are, Alexander. I'm not playing around. I see right like, through your bullshit, boy. So to you and your little friends that you're talking to behind everybody's back and behind my back, as I said, I say to you this, Alexander, I don't fear you. I show no fear towards you or your friends. Yeah, and you only know why you did that. The only reason why you told them that you shouldn't was because you were told to, son. You were told to apologize. You were made to apologize. And you want to know something, dude? I ain't falling for that fucking petty game that you got going there. I ain't falling for that nice act, boy. And here's a little fucking reality check for you, bro. You don't know shit about the music industry here in America. You're in Norway. You are not involved in the fucking political system. You are not involved in the legal system. You are not involved. And you sure as fuck are not involved in the music industry here. You're just some little punk dude behind the fucking keyboard in Norway acting like a hard ass. And you want me to fucking show you up? I fucking will. And don't think I won't do it. You can get your little friends. You can get your gang to attack me. I don't give a fuck. While they're all wasting their time doing that, I'm going to be sitting here fucking making hits that people enjoy. So, guess what, motherfucker? I'm on stage every night. You're not. Yeah, it might not be a regular stage, but it's still a stage nonetheless. Ask any fucking real person here. They'll tell you the same thing. Music is music. My room is my stage. This is where I perform every night. For damn near a hundred different people who enjoy my work. Every day, I record. I push myself. Every night. I get up here, and I do what I do best, and I hold this stage down. I don't know what other motherfucking planet you're from, dude, but you need to get a reality check. That nice act that you're trying to pull, it ain't phasing me. And you sure as fuck ain't fooling anybody with it. So drop the fucking act, and tell people how you really are. Because unlike you, I'm very real. I let people see the real me. I let people see what I go through. So don't think for a second that you're fooling me, Alexander. I know your game. You sit there and say one thing to somebody's face and then turn around behind their back and talk more shit. And that's how you are. You're fucking two-faced. And I'll make sure the whole fucking world knows it, too. And if you don't think I can do that, try me, motherfucker. I got connections too. I got connections of my own. Cause let me tell you something, bro. You started a war that I'm finishing. Yeah, I may be only five foot two, but I'll tell you something right now, motherfucker. I have more of an influence than you could ever hope to be having. And if you don't believe me, try me. So I dare you to fucking test me. I dare you to fucking push me, little bitch. I dare you. 
And don't think I'm not going to whip your ass up on YouTube, because here's one thing that is very, very well known amongst me and the people that have exposed you for what you really are. YouTube is your enemy. And guess what? I'm going to use it to expose your fucking fake ass. So don't think for a moment that anybody here is falling for your trickery, because it ain't happening. You are a low life, no skill having, trolling ass motherfucker with no respect for anybody. And let me tell you something. For you to sit there and, and apologize to me just because I'm special needs, bro, which even if that were the case, which it is to a certain extent, not gonna lie, to a certain extent it is, but for the most part, I'm just as normal as you, pal. I am just as normal as you. So for you to sit there and apologize to me and say that you shouldn't do this just because I'm special needs, dude, like, are you not thinking clearly? Like, are you on some kind of drugs or something? Like, what kind of fucking drugs did you take that made you fucked up like that? Like, dude, come on. Think about it, man. You tell someone that you're sorry just because they're special needs, right? Well, here's how it looks on you. You doing that makes it look like you attacked a special needs person. And that just adds to the fire. You're basically pouring gasoline on a fucking already burning fire and making shit worse when you do that. And don't think I don't have skill, because guess what, dude? I've got skill. I got more skill than any you'll ever have, boy. Y'all you know, me? ask any motherfucker here that's heard my music that knows my music and has been there since day one. They know my music and they enjoy my music. So go ahead and share this around to your Facebook. Share it around to the whole, share it to the entire world. I don't care. But when you share this, know this. I don't fear anybody that crosses my path. I fear no one that attacks me. I fear no one that tries to shut me down. This was a little reality check for you, boy. Anybody that has tried to shut me down has failed. And I promise you, you will be no different. You will fail at trying to shut me down. Don't believe me? Ask the hundreds of people that I've shut down in the past who have tried to shut me down. I expose them for what they really are. And now half of them don't even have a fucking music career because I hurt them real badly. And I didn't want to do it. Normally, I don't want to shut people down like that. Normally, I would accept your apology for what you did. But looking back now and seeing that you've been made to apologize to me, no, 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 no. I ain't falling for it. See your crappy, petty bullshit you know, fake bullshit, I should say, for somebody else that's willing to buy it. Because I ain't buying it. I ain't buying a single fucking word that you guys say, boy. Like I said, go ahead and get your friends. Talk shit about me all you want. I don't care. It don't faze me. And even if they do attack me, <laughs> go ahead and let them, bro. As I said, I fear no one. Especially not some low-life punk-ass motherfucker like you with nothing better to do when he's got time on his hands than to fuck around and fucking try to do little and terrorize and pick on people who 
he feels are less than he is. Like, dude. Because let me tell you something. During the entire attack over these last 30 years, during these last, you know, several days, you've not only wasted time of your own, wasted your breath and energy on shit you didn't need to be wasting your breath on, but you also wasted my time, my fans' time, and all my friends and family's time, along with other people that you don't even know. So you wasted a lot of motherfucking people's time, dude, when you did this shit. As I said, you started a war that I'm winning and that I'm finishing. Because unlike you, I'm real. Unlike you, I let the world see who I really am. Whereas for you, dude, you're just a punk-ass kid. So what room do you have coming at me? Yeah, I may be five foot two. I may look a little bit different from the norm. But you want to know something? I'm the worst motherfucker you will ever meet. I am the most honest person you will ever meet. And yeah, I'll admit, I'm one of the nicest that you'll ever meet too. Until you fucking cross me like you did. That's when we have problems. Cause let me tell you something, boy. I know your games and I'm not falling for them anymore. See, at first I was gonna be cool and, you know, let you hear one of my new songs personally that I remastered last night. But now because of it, not gonna happen. I'll let everybody else hear it, which later on, guys, I will let you guys hear it. I remastered my song from start to finish. I completely redid it for you guys. But as I said, I really don't think that a lot of you realize how this man really is. He acts like he's the victim. He acts like, oh, I apologize. Well, here's a dose of reality. He didn't just apologize to me. He was made to apologize by one of my friends. He was made to say he's sorry. If he wasn't, if he was not made to do that, he wouldn't have done it. So, here's a little dose of what I'm about to say. I better yet, I'll just say straight out. You didn't really mean it. You lied. You lied to me. You lied to my friends. You lied to the people here. And you lied to the whole world saying that you were sorry to me. And guess what, bro? I'm not accepting that apology. Because it was not sincere. It did not come from you right after things happened. Right after you said what you said about me, you didn't come to me right away and say, Hey, dude, I'm sorry for saying that. I was out of line. Whereas for me, if I said something like that, yeah, I would have came to you and be like, Hey, dude, I'm sorry for, you know, what I said. You know, I might not respect your music, but I do respect you as a person. Like, I might not like your music, but you as a person, you're cool. And I would have been fine with that. But instead, you had to get your little friends involved. You knew about the attacks. You knew about what was really going on. You just didn't want to say anything because you're a scared little punk bitch. Who was afraid of getting exposed for who he really is. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to be that motherfucker that fights back and exposes you for what you really are. And if you think I ain't got the will, the strength, or the power to do it, come test me, boy. 
I don't fear you. Because mine, in your mind, like into everybody here, with the way your mind is, dude, you're this tall. Compared to me, I'm this tall compared to you. Yeah, let me tell you something. Because I've seen your comments. One thing you fail to realize. You might not have a small body, but you got a small motherfucking mind. You got a very small mind. You're just pissed off that I'm able to do what I do best for all these people. You're just pissed off the fact that I have people who actually enjoy music that you might not necessarily enjoy. Which, and I can respect the fact that you don't enjoy my music. My different types of music isn't for everyone. I understand that and I'm aware of that. Does it affect what I do at the end of the day? No. I'm still going to do my metal music. I'm still going to do my punk rock. And I'm going to continue to do my music for those that enjoy it. And yes, I'm still going to do my death stuff despite what you think. So for those of you that also don't know, as a side note, I am bringing back my old school album, Cybertronica. I completely redid it. I am bringing it back for a new release here within the next few days to the next few months. But if you guys have this Alexander guy that's been commenting on your friends list, get rid of him right now. Go in there, block him, and un like, you know, unfriend and block him. And also, just be safe, report him and his friends that are on Facebook. Because I guarantee you, half those people on his friends list are talking shit. Because let me tell y'all something. He has it on his Facebook to where only friends can see what he posts up and what he says about people. I've seen the proof of this for myself from several different people. This man is a fraud. This man spends nothing but wasted air and wasted breath talking shit about people that he has no right or reason to be talking shit about. Like, dude, what did I ever do to you? I didn't do nothing to you when this shit started. You're the one that started this yourself. Like, seriously, you really don't think the world's not going to see you for who you really are? Like, I'm honestly confused as to what's going on in that fucking head of yours. Like, seriously. Like, did your parents not beat your ass like they should have as a child? Were you sexually assaulted, like, by four random guys at a bar or something? Like, what's going on, dude? Like... Because if you did go through that, you know, here, I'll, I'll give you the number for the fucking counseling shit so you can get the help you need. Because, man, obviously you need it. And you seriously need some fucking help, dude. Like, you really do need help. Like, the shit you're doing is actually laughable. And let me tell you something, man. One of the comments on, you know, my video, that was supposed to be an insult. <laughs> that was, like, the worst attempt at an insult ever. Saying that somebody took a shit an hour ago, and the sound of the flushing toilet sounded better than my music. Dude, that was not an insult at all. That was actually, I found that one actually funny as shit. Like, I honestly laughed at that. Like, that was, a five-year-old could do a better insult than that. My grandmother who's passed away could do a better insult than that. Like, dude. I don't know where the fuck you get out thinking that you're better than anybody. Or that anybody fears you. Because nobody does fear you. I don't fear you. My friends, my fans, my family. And the friends that I've gained from all this shit. 
don't fear you. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing wasting your time trying to fucking play the bigger man card when you're not being the bigger man. When in reality, you're being the lesser man. Like, for real. If you didn't think I wasn't going to come on here and expose you for what you really are, you are you got another thing coming, bro. Like, you were sadly mistaken over that shit. Like, you want to sit there and talk shit behind my back? That's fine. But don't sit there and act like you didn't know what really went on. Because we all know the truth. You did know what was going on. And yeah, I do apologize if you got bullied a lot in high school and growing up. And I do apologize for whatever traumatic stuff that you did go through in your life. I do apologize to you for that. Nobody does deserve to go through that. Not even my, I would never even wish that on my worst enemy. But for you to sit there and attack other people just to make you feel bigger about yourself. No, 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 no. Sorry, dude. It don't, it don't work like that. Sorry, partner. Try again. Cause guess what? Anything you got to say against me, Anything you can do to me, it don't phase me. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be doing my music for everybody that enjoys it. Unlike you, I don't waste my time on petty shit. Unlike you, I bust my ass every single day, every single night, every fucking day, putting out music, getting shit ready, so that when the time comes and I do get signed, I am ready to hit that green light and take off like a fucking rocket. Yeah, I might not be the ideal music artist because of how I look physically. But guess what, dude? In the eyes of these people, I'm a fucking rock star compared to you. In the eyes of these people and people around here in my hometown that I don't even know, I'm a fucking rock star. Can I tell you something? My brother, Zachariah Hussein, was the king of Akron. He did everything he could in his power to make a change in Akron, as well as overseas, and he did. And guess what? I'm holding the crown now, boy. So you best be bound down to the king of Akron. And if you don't believe I am, ask anybody that knew Zach, ask anybody that knows me, ask any of these people here that know me. I am the king of Akron. And you're just a fucked up, idiotic loser of Norway that nobody wants anything to do with. So as I said, I am royalty in this place. I am royalty here in Akron. So you best be bowing down to the king. And if you don't believe I am the king, try me. I've got a lot more connections than you could ever hope to be in, dude. Or even hope to have having. You don't know me. When you fucked with me, you fucked with the wrong person. You started a war that you can't win. And the only reason why you're apologizing is because you took fucking chicken shit to do it yourself. That's why you were made to do it because you took fucking chicken shit to come to me on your own and say, hey, I'm sorry for what I said. So yeah, you're a fucking low life, no talent having, Fucking computer keyboard geek fucking wanna be you know, you're you're nobody. Like it's honestly confusing as to why you do what you do. Like if you're a fan of my work, you know, that's fine, you know, I'll send you an autograph. I'll fucking you know, I'll do a sketch for you and send it to you. 
But if that's your way of being a fan or getting my attention, that's the wrong way to do it. Like I said, if, you know, as a matter of fact, since I know you probably don't have it, here, I'll send you this notepad and this pen after I write down this the fucking health hotline to get you mental health. So, here. You want the help or not? Because obviously you need it. I'll personally send you this shit so that you can get the help you need. So that you can do the research you need to get the mental help that you need. Because obviously you need it. So, if you want this in the mail, here, I'll send it to you. I have no problem helping a dude out that has mental issues like what you got. Because I've been through that. I know what men, what being mentally on the edge is like. But obviously, you got it way worse than I think anybody ever has. And I feel bad for you for that. I feel bad that your parents didn't beat your ass as a kid. I feel bad that, you know, your girlfriend watched you because you're a bully. Like, and that's all you really are is a fucking bully. Like, that's all you are. You go around wasting everybody's time and energy just so that you can feel better about yourself, and then you try to hide it acting like Mr. Nice Guy. Well, as I said before, I'm not falling for it in neither of these people. Like, the shit needs to stop, bruh. Like, you act one way and then do something else. Like, make up your mind. Are you a good guy? Or are you a guy that needs mental help? Because obviously, it's pretty clear to me that you need mental help and bad. So, as I said, why don't you grab a pen and paper, do some research, get the mental health that you need in your area. Like, look up the numbers and addresses in your area. And get the mental health that you need. Because obviously you need it. And pretty damn bad I would say. And I also do know why you're not responding. And that is because of the fact that. You're pissed off that I expose you for what you really are. Which is a fraud. A fake. And a phony. You're just another person. Who wishes he was me? You wish that you were me, dude. Well, guess what? Keep dreaming, dude, because you're never going to be me. And to be honest with you, I don't think I would want you being me with the way you did what you did. I don't think I would want somebody like you representing me at all. Hell, I'd rather have any one of these motherfuckers that are watching right now Represent me over your ass. Because obviously. <laughs> you're a nobody. Compared to me. I don't know how they do things. Over in Norway. When it comes to a show like this. But I'll tell you how we do it here in America. Anybody that wants to cross my path from your country, anybody that wants to cross me like you did, I say this to them. Fuck you and have a nice day. And if you want to start a war, as I said, bring it. I fear nobody. And I sure as fuck don't fear you. You want to see the look of fear in somebody's eyes? You better look in the mirror, because when I'm done, you will know terror. You will know fear. And you will not fuck with me or anybody like this ever again once I'm done with you. So all I got to say is be prepared for a war. I'm out.